Hey, everybody. I just want to give everybody a shout out there to have a happy Thanksgiving today. Hopefully you're not doing what the governor said and locking yourself away from your family. Don't spend it with your family. They're going to lock us down anyway, so you better go do it while you can. Have fun. First thing you better be thankful for today, though, is you better be thankful for the Lord and Savior. Because he's the only one that's going to get any of us out of this. I, I know a lot of you are. But you, you, everybody needs to be thankful for him today. Um, I got a little story that I was told a long time ago. And I, I want to share it with you guys. Uh, and I believe this has probably happened more than once since uh, God created man. But uh, I can't say that it's in the Bible anywhere or anything. Uh, I don't know where the story originates from. Uh, but somebody told it to me a long time ago, and I want to share it with you guys. You know, man, as all with all of his inventions and his technology and his wisdom, one day got the chance to stand before God. And he's standing there, man, standing there telling God how, hey, we're no different than you now, Lord, or God. We have, uh, with our technology and everything, we can do the same things you can do. We could stand, we could scoop up this dirt right here, form it into a, a body and put life into it and bring it to life. Just like you, God. We're just like you. We can do the same thing. So that makes us gods too. And God stopped for a minute and he said, oh, you can. You can do all this. And they said, sure can, Lord. Or God, sure can. God said, okay, then prove it. If you can do all this, prove it. So man bent over right there in front of God and started scooping up the dirt going to form a body out of the dirt. And God goes, oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my dirt. You got to make your own dirt. That's what's going on today, people. Man thinks they've outsmarted God. They think they've, they're beyond God. Matter of fact, I wouldn't put it past them if they're trying to figure out a way to kill him and or kill the Lord when the, uh, on the day of his return. There's no doubt in my mind. That's probably what that collider out in, where is it, Switzerland? That's probably what that thing's all about. But uh, people, they can't. They can't do anything that God does. They can't do Everything they've done is because of God. Their brains is because of God. They like to tell us, oh, this is our scientists. That, uh, how we evolved. We've evolved from crawling up out of scum out of the ocean and into animals and the monkey and then evolved into man. And they even claim that our DNA between a monkey and a man is so close that there's no way we couldn't have came from them. That's their claim. But they only know like 2% of what DNA. They call 98% of it fill. Because they don't even know what that all of it is. But they also don't tell you that if you compared our DNA with a plant, Our DNA is just as close to that plant as we are to that ape or that monkey or whatever they want to claim we came from. The reason of that, folks, is because this we are all carbon-based. All life form on this earth is carbon-based. The DNA is going to be close enough. It doesn't matter if it's a plant or animal. I mean, this is ridiculous. This stuff's easy to find out. The um, scientists today still sitting there claiming COVID has put so many bodies, there's going to be bodies laying in the streets.
people, they've never identified it. They've never isolated it to identify it. To even, let's say, they had a million people dead in the United States in the first year. It still would not make it a pandemic. A million people out of 340 million, it's not even 1%. People say wearing these masks is a is a symbol symbolism to Satan that you're one of his people. And the reason being, the reason why they're saying this, people, is because the mask will not protect you from an airborne virus. It won't do it. You would need a gas mask, people. That's what's ridiculous about this whole thing. It even states it right on the packaging that according to what they call a virus, it will not protect you from. But you guys still believe it because uh, Fucci and uh, all the clowns in Congress, uh, most of them, uh, the World Health Organization, the Ohio Health Department, all them guys say to wear the mask. Ain't doing you no good. Matter of fact, it's doing you more harm than it's doing you good. But you guys need to, I'm, how long do you think you're going to be able to keep this up, people? You're, they're going to drive you nuts. They're going to drive you insane out of your mind. And when you ain't got a job, no money, and they're giving you what? Maybe an extra. Well, how long did they do it the last time? Gave you guys an extra $600 on your unemployment for a short amount of time. Then that ended. And they gave you a $1,200 stimulus check. That bought you a TV or, or whatever you spent the money on. People, if you don't understand that this is a spirit, a spiritual war, this is not physical. This is not of this world. And if you guys don't understand that, people, you're going to lose everything. You're going to lose everything. You're going to perish like the Bible says, and that's the second death. That's where your soul dies. So I'm telling you people, this is just a warning today. First thing you better be thankful for is the Lord and Savior. For giving his soul, or giving his life for your souls. I know I am. It'd be on my mind all day. He should be on yours. But you guys all have a good Thanksgiving out there today. Might be the last one we get to have with our families. So make it a good one, guys. May God bless us all because that's the only way we're going to get out of this. God loves you people. So do I.